Welcome <laughs> to the Ultimate Sci-Fi Show Tournament. This is, I don't know, six, something like that. Episode? Six mini, episodes. Mini, mini episodes. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we uh, are slowly putting together in a sort of bracket type style. Yeah, who's of the who? Best of the best. This is as close <laughs> as Jordan gets to sports. <laughs> <laughs> I like some sports. Yeah, and we kind of are going through some old shows we've watched, picking out some characters. Luke's deciding who's who's the best of the best, and we're making our own sci-fi show, the ultimate sci-fi show. The you all, if you will, if you if will, if you will, yeah. So, just to quickly recap, uh, and so sorry for uh, anyone who's listened to previous episodes, but some categories we have eliminated. I want the person who's tuning in just to this one needs to hear. Yeah, we have eliminated the idea of a villain character. There will not be that character in the show. Mm-hmm. Alien has been eliminated. No aliens. Long-suffering spouse. A horrible trope, a trope that has been uh, eliminated. No spouses shall suffer. <laughs> Robot android gone. Sorry, everyone. I'm sorry about that. A one. number two character is what I call the sort of like classic sidekick yeah, right, type right. character. That's gone. And the characters we have in the show are, let me scroll through. We have a, a gadget tech expert of Vincent Kanofsky, and he was from the show Sleepwalkers. Uh, we have someone with mysterious powers. And we have Blackie from Nightmare Cafe. Oh, and I forgot about this. Annoying kid, you chose the Super Scouts from the Galactica Super 1980. Scouts. We have the underutilized female character of Dr. Angela March from Ultraviolet. Uh-huh. And I think our final, we have a female lead character of Lucy Chang from Codename oh, Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad you didn't start this off by asking me what my picks were because I wouldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't remember it either. So I have three categories for you. I'm going to say one is huge. You'll be able to know which one is huge. Huge. So, and just for anyone uh, tuning in. Do you mean huge is important or huge is in really long? Really long. <laughs> Damn uh, it. We have um, one Luke's going to pick, one he's going to erase, and one he's going to push off for another week. And these categories are white male lead, big boss, or wild card. Ooh. I pushed off wild card once already, didn't I? Mm-hmm. You've also pushed Big Boss. Did I push Big Boss as well? Interesting. Mm. Um, White male lead is the only new category, and I've saved it. No big spoiler. In sci-fi shows of the last 50 years, white male lead is the number one category. Number one with a bullet. White male lead. Yeah. Um, I'm going to push wildcard again. Okay. I still think I'm probably going to pick it at some point, but I'm going to push it for now. I'm very curious what lives in that category. Mm-hmm. So you have you can uh, get rid of white male lead, or you can get rid of big boss, or you play one of those categories. I am going to I am going to erase, as you put it, white male lead. I knew it because I can't live without a big boss. Mm-hmm. Give me that big boss. So I'm going to do something real quick, just for people listening. I'm going to read off as fast as I can every single white male character. It's going to be an auctioneer style. <laughs> yeah, but let me just say the characters that had already been eliminated were Dr. Nathan Bradford from Sleepwalkers, oh, yeah. Detective Sergeant Michael Colefield from Ultraviolet, mm-hmm. uh, Frank Nolan from Nightmare Cafe, and that was it. So I mean, are we, you ready? You, we didn't We didn't have, a, what's his name from, um, no, maybe, what, oh, maybe we didn't take anything from that show. What was that show where they're all robots except for the ones who aren't robots and they're, they're cops? <laughs> <laughs> what? With uh, with Carl Urban's in it. Oh, uh, uh, Almost Human? Yeah, for some reason I thought I somehow destroyed no, that show already. you haven't had picked anyone from no, that show. Well, there you go. I bet you he's in this, li- this list. Then. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, drum roll. <laughs> Justin Thorpe, The Osiris Chronicles. Jack Mann, The Omen. N- Nolan Wood, The Invaders. J- Jake Cardigan, Tech War. Lieutenant Nathan West, Space Above and Beyond. Jeff Hale, Riverworld. Jerry Robinson, The Quester Tapes. Paul Atreides, Dune. John Moore, Beyond Westworld. Tim Kovac, Baffled. Chester Barnes, America 2100. Phil Keith, America 2100. Guy Gardner, uh, Justice League of America. Lieutenant <laughs> Lieutenant T- Thomas Hobbs, uh, Harsh Realm. Dylan Hunt, Genesis 2. Captain Troy, Galactic 1980. Lieutenant Dylan, Galactic 1980. Marshall Green, Macbeth, Badlands 2005. Neil Stryker, The Stranger. Eddie Reese, The Astronaut. Detective David Nash, Steel Justice. Captain John Boone, Space Rangers. Sean Mullen, Search for the Gods. Adam Cork, Cork. Uh, Alan Verdon, 
Planet of the Apes, Pete Burke, Planet of the Apes, Dylan Hunt, Planet Earth, Major Jack North, North Star, Herman Munster, The Mark and Mar Mockingbird Lane, Detective Bobby Mann, Man and Machine, Eddie Monroe, K-9000, Black Bolt and Humans, Sean Flynn, Global Frequency, Sam Casey, Gemini, Nan, Gemini Man, Adam Barnes, Freaky Links, Jonathan Hayes, Earth Star Voyager, Bill, Day of the Triffids. By the way, that's page one. It goes on. Oh, are you still talking? I fell asleep. Yeah, let's not keep going. It keeps going. That just shows you how many white male leads are. Honestly, it keeps going. That's page one? Yeah. Ugh, I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah, that's enough. I Dr. Clint to... Earnshaw, George R., <laughs> Captain... <laughs> They're all erased. They're all gone. They're all erased. So, let me just uh, cross this out. So, sorry about that last 45 seconds or so, or... 10 minutes or however long it took. We'll see how annoying that snoring I did over the top of your read was, and we can always erase <laughs> and it And you chose Big Boss, right? Big Boss. Okay, Big Boss. So I'll give these characters. You can stop me anytime you want. I'm going to pick the biggest boss you got. Okay. Well, I, I think I think it's going to be hard to top this first one. Walter H. Bascom, Tech War. That's William Shatner. That's one big boss. Lieutenant Colonel T.C. McQueen, Space Above and Beyond. I also put Commodore Ross, Space Above and Beyond. Oh, double Space Bubs. Mm -hmm. John Jones, or the Martian Manhunter, Justice League of America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adama, Galactica 1980. Oh, I forgot he was in that. Yeah, Duke Leto, Atreides, Dune. Ah, yes. Joseph Oppenheimer, Beyond Westworld. He also built the atomic bomb. <laughs> Different Oppenheimer. Uh, Captain Sandra Maldonado, Almost Human. J.T. Baylock, Threshold. Remember him? No. Yeah. <laughs> Com Commander Chinol, Space Rangers. That was the little tiny lady. What's her name? That actress? Oh, what's her name? Yeah, I can't She's remember. Great. The Head, Quark. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Colonel Even Marshall, North Star. I don't even remember that. Captain Claghorn, Man and Machine. Good name, though. Good Claghorn. Name. Uh, Sean Cassidy, G Generation X. Leonard Driscoll, Gemini Man. Jacob Brown, Earth Star Voyager. Carl Stalling, Danger Team, Jonas Bledsoe, Bionic Woman, Bionic Woman. You've had Danger Team. I've heard, like, I don't even remember. The, I remember, like, one character. That was the, the uh, uh, Carl Stalling was the boss in the newspaper that she had that was always like, you're not a reporter. Was it a newspaper or a detective agency? <laughs> I think it was a detective <laughs> agency. <laughs> Why did I think it was a newspaper? I, I mean, who couldn't remember? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It was a terrible thing. Who cares? Anyway, so that's that's your list. Anyone you want to be reminded of or that you want me to cross off a list right away? I am disappointed. I was hoping. I mean, that's them. That's all their big bosses. I'm sorry. I thought that w there was there was a big boss in um, a show whose name I'm not going to remember. Uh, it was um, about a robot man. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't narrow it down. Who goes on the run from the government? <laughs> Robot Man. Oh, uh, a great theme song. Charles Rocket was in it. His face comes off of the trailer in the in the opening credits. Are you talking something from Four Season? Because there's nothing from Four Season. No, no, it, we just watched. It. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not going to be on this. All right. Because there's that there's like there's like a, a a criminal who was like wore a cowboy hat and got in that big monster. Oh crime. yeah, yeah. No, th th he's not in. He would be a villain anyways. Oh, you're thinking Big Boss like. Yeah, he's a big this boss. This is big boss, like a big boss. Yeah, yeah. Like I understand, but he doesn't fit the bill. In the org chart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the org chart. All right. Uh, it's a tough one. Now. You got your Bascom. You got McQueen. You got I hate to say it. Bascom's at the top of that list, I think. I think so, too. I, I don't think that's anything, I anything don't, wrong. I don't want to give William Shatner more work. I don't think he needs it. And I think he's kind of outlived his <laughs> usefulness to us all on this earth. Well, I mean, how many more people does he need to murder? <laughs> But I that killed that astronaut recently. <laughs> that character is <laughs> that character is is a good big boss. There's no question about yeah. that. I mean, remember he just like sort of he just wasn't around for a few episodes at the time. He just started like would come down the stairs and he's like, "That's enough." Yeah, he went back to L.A. for those. Yeah. Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone you want to you can't remember or reminded or you just want me to get rid of? I mean, like you're not going to pick Sean Casty from Generation X. No, I mean, I'm not going to take anyone from Generation X, that's for sure. And I mean, you you said someone's name and we didn't know who he was, so that person's probably gone. Yeah. I like Claghorn. Claghorn. I mean, great name. A great name. Is, was Claghorn on, sorry, which series was that again? Man and Machine. Man, okay, that's what I thought it was, Man and Machine. They're like, uh, hey, I'm a John Mann or whatever, you got to... You gotta respect this sexy young robot. I'll be honest. I might keep Claghorn around for now, just because yeah. it's a great name, and like we knew nothing about him, so he can really fulfill any role in this. Yeah. Oh, um, I'll bold it. Did 
the boss from uh, is, did you mention the boss from Auto Man? Did he make this list anywhere? No, nothing from Fourth Season. The Fourth Season will come, but not yet. What is the Fourth Season? Or what is it? That's what we're doing right now. Oh, is this what we're doing? Okay. Yeah, your your memory is only for things that happened the last couple of weeks. They got to go all the way back. Commodore Ross, Space Above and Beyond. And these Commodore are, these, Ross, is these a are good big choice. fan favorites. Uh, Sandra Maldonado, Almost Human. That's what's her face. That actress, I can't remember. Oh, she's pretty good too, isn't she? Uh, Liv Taylor. No. Liv Tyler. <laughs> no, that's still that's a different person. This is so messy. I I honestly I hate my choices. Uh, there's no one that popped out to me to be like. I know. Let's go with this person. You should have chosen white male lead. I apparently wanted. You ones, haven't learned that yet in life. I apparently <laughs> wanted ones from w- more recent shows we've watched. Which apparently, is my problem here. Adama Adama's in there. He's pretty Adama's good. In there. J T. Baylock. Remember, he was always having conversations with sweaters. I mean, I'm leaning toward Commodore Ross. I think. Hmm. He loves the guitar. He eats those strawberries. Fuck him and those strawberries. Oh, yeah. That fresh milk. I forgot Ooh, about that. He loves that those. was a plot point. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's let's go with Commodore Ross. Um, he's he's military man. Good big boss that way. You could do worse. I could do worse. Okay. So as a recap, you picked uh, Commodore Ross, and he will be joining our female lead, which is Lucy Chang from Codename Phoenix. He'll also be joining Dr. Angela March from Ultraviolet. Somehow the Super Scouts will be in there from Galactic 1980. And even weirder, Blackie from Nightmare Cafe. Finally, uh, there will be little gadgets brought to us by Vincent Kanofsky from Sleepwalkers. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that is how we start making the weirdest, if not the most ultimate uh, sci-fi show. If not the most ultimate. If not the most ultimate. <laughs> and that's it. And we'll we'll keep going next week. I can't wait. We must be getting close. We are getting close, yeah. As far as I know. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close. Stay tuned for the rest of our thousand hour bracket. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Mm-hmm.